Hello everybody, thank you for joining me in this class. Here I'm going to show you how we can create the Excel template for implementing the Gaussian elimination method. So what I uh, have here in this uh, screen is a template which I have already created. So I'm just going to show you how it works first and then I will go through step by step how to create this in a short moment. So let me enter in a system of linear equation to show you that it does work. For example, I have this system of linear equation. So I will just go ahead and key in the numbers for a given system of linear equations. Four, five, one, three, one, minus one, minus one, three, two. So minus 5.7, 2.8, and 3.8. So as you can see, when I have fully populated the, um, the, all the cells over here, Excel automatically um, converts the original matrix A into the echelon form. And uh, using back substitution, it is able to then calculate for x3, x2, and x1. Okay, so I will go through step by step how we create this three by three uh, Excel implementation of the Gaussian elimination. Okay, let's start with a fresh page. So let's just create the cells for us to populate the three by three matrix. Okay, I'm going to duplicate this. Okay. So so this is where we're going to enter the given system of linear equations. Okay, so we just leave it as that. And uh, we're just going to put the equal sign over here so that whatever number that you enter here will be reflected there. You can copy or just drag this across so that it will automatically copy all the numbers uh, from this side to this. Okay. So the next uh, cell that we need to key in the formula will be this. Now recall that we need to obtain the fraction, okay, in order to convert this number, whatever that number that might be, into zero, we need to find that fraction, which is simply uh, this number here, divided by the pivot number, which is this number. So let's just go ahead and put an equal sign. And let's get the fraction, which is this, divided by this number. Okay, we're just gonna put a dollar sign here so that it is, um, fixed to these two cells. We will need this, this uh, fraction to be multiplied across. Okay, so once we have this fraction, we multiply that to the pivot number. Okay, and then we're gonna subtract this out from the number that we want to make zero. So that's gonna be that. It's so gonna be a minus sign. So the minus sign should be here, okay? And then press enter, okay? Uh, the reason why there's a division uh, over zero error here is because there's no number here. So we just leave it as that. So once we put in the numbers, this should be fine. So we're just gonna copy across. In fact, yes, copy across. Okay, and then um, we do the same thing here. This is going to be, uh, we need to find the fraction. 
which is this number divided by the pivot element. Okay, we need to put the dollar sign. Multiply that to the pivot element and then subtracting it out from the equation that we want to make zero. Okay, enter and just copy across. Okay, so that should give us uh, the zeros in the first column. So maybe let's copy the um, system of linear equations given. So let's write down the numbers here, 4, 3, minus 1, 5, 1, 3, 1, minus 1, 2, and that's a minus 5.7, 2.8, and 3.8. Okay. Oh, it's over here. <laughs> so let us copy. So let us copy the given, so let us copy the given system of, so let us copy the system of linear equations from here. So that's going to be a 4, 3, minus 1, 5, 1, 3, 1, minus 1, 2, Minus 5.7, 2.8, and 3.8. Okay, so you can see that the first column, we have successfully converted these two numbers into zero. Okay, and then the next step we have to do is to convert this number to zero. Okay, we need not do anything with regards to the rest. So we're just simply going to equate uh, all the cells here correspondingly. So over here, that is going to be, see this, this is going to be the same as this. Now for this, we will need to convert this number to zero. And the fraction that we need to use will be this divided by the pivot element, in, this, in which case it will be this number. So let's go ahead and put an equal sign. And that fraction is going to be this number divided by this pivot element. Okay, let's put the dollar sign to fix the cell reference. Okay, you get to multiply this to the pivot number and then subtract this out from the element that you want to make zero. Okay, so we're just going to copy and paste it throughout, and that's it. Okay, so we have successfully implemented uh, the Gauss elimination. We have uh, successfully converted the original matrix A into the echelon form. So let's do the back substitution so that we can obtain the values of x1, 2, and 3. So let's uh, just call this x3, and this is x2, this is x1, okay? Now let's just copy the formula. So based on this formula, we can calculate the value of uh, x3. So that is going to be uh, whatever value this may be, 
divided by this. Okay, and the next one will be whatever value this might be, minus away the submission of x3 multiplied by the coefficient and then divide by, okay, so the, let's put a bracket here, divide by the coefficient of this one. Okay, and then lastly, this is going to be this number minus away the summation of the multiplication of x2 and x3 and the corresponding coefficient. So it's going to be this multiplied by, that's for x3. And then if you like, you can just put a plus this multiplied by x2. Okay, let's be careful to put a bracket here. Okay. And uh, the entire thing has to be divided by this coefficient here. And that's it. Okay, let's take a look whether we have the same answer. Okay, that's it. It's 2.4, 0 0.1, and minus 0 0.9. So that's it. This is the Gaussian elimination implemented within Excel.